Welcome back to another video. I've got a quick battery test for you today. These were sent in via Key Power, and they're a little bit different. They are AA batteries, but they are lithium ion AA at 1.5 volts, not the 3.6 or 3.7 volt lithium. Included with this, you get a charging cable, and this is Type A to micro USB. Fairly short cable, but you do get four connectors. And they also bundle a case for the battery so you can just keep them stored in there. And you also have a protection circuit on there and I'll cover some of that later on but basically it prevents it from overcharging or discharging. Uh, you can't really do anything wrong with these batteries. And they're basically the same size as an AA battery and any loop in terms of the length but the diameter is slightly less. I haven't seen any issues with using these batteries in terms of devices. Perfect fit, no problems at all. Charging speeds on these from around about 300 to 350 milliamps. So they're not particularly quick in terms of their charging speed. Then the LED lights up blue when it's finished charging. Once it has terminated, you're looking around about the 1.5 volts as you'd expect from an AA battery. Nickel metal hydride cells drop their voltage after they've been charged. That's perfectly normal, uh, but these ones don't. They have a very small drop in terms of their voltage when they're discharged. Important to note that you can't charge these in a charger. The protection circuit will kick in and prevent that from happening. So you will have to use the micro USB for charging on these. That's the only way that you can do it. Discharge test that I did on this was at half an amp. And there's the results on screen. I've also put the text up there, make it a little bit easier to see. These cut their voltage when they're fully discharged. So I had to use the data logger on that. They were just completely cut off. There's your internal resistance test that I've put up. And I've also got the spec for the battery with the data sheet from the manufacturer. One point to note with these batteries, you can't use them in high drain devices. You're limited to 1.5 amps maximum per battery. And that means you can't use them for flash guns because they will trip the protection circuit. And as you can see on the flash gun here, I can't even turn it back on once the circuit has tripped. That is a very high drain device though because it charges the capacitor. As far as torches, most of those should work and also toys and other electronic devices shouldn't have any problems with that. There's some advantages to the lithium in terms that it holds its voltage better than normal batteries would do nickel metal hydride or alkaline, but they will shut off once they've reached their discharge state. Thanks for watching the video. I'll be back after a break for Christmas and I'll see you very soon.